So now it's nearly six months since I took delivery of my scan computer 5950X 64 gigabyte two NVMe two one terabyte drive GT RTX 3080 desktop computer base unit from scan computers so what's it been like after six months of using it how reliable is it reliability I would say is very high you know I've not had any issues with the CPU motherboard and hard drives have been stable so system build has been fine I did have a catastrophe in the first week when I had to completely reinstall Windows from scratch and in that respect the USB recovery, uh, recovery disk was completely useless absolutely useless didn't do anything in terms of performance well I was expecting a, a much bigger jump in performance over my previous six year old computer a 4790k uh, 32 gigabyte machine it's not been that much of a performance there it, it is better I don't have to reboot as much and it is more stable what about Cindy Benchar's 20 score? Has it gone down? Let's have a look. I think this computer's been up for about a week. Let's see what the Cindy Bench score is. Cindy Benchar 20 benchmark. Uh, I think it's uh, slightly overclocked. Not much. Normally, on a clean boot, it should get around 10,000. 600 score 10,400 to 600 let's see how much it's gone down let's see if it's over 10,000 or under ooh that is pretty good I was expecting it to be lower than that so there's been no system degradation in terms of performance it's basically the system's running as good as new um, the only downside was yeah I had a Windows related failure at the beginning which means I had to completely reinstall that was a pain in the butt um, and uh, what about uh, support there is a lag between what uh, scan support responses usually I could figure out the solutions Bef well I did figure out the solutions before scan respond technically I would rate them their support I'll rate them 8 out of 10 they basically were just uh, they could have been worse but they basically would just iterate what um, like a standard checklist they have it, it didn't really work for mine what issue with mine like I said the USB disk proved useless in terms of it was useless I couldn't reinstall Windows from the USB disk they could have saved a hell of a lot of problem if they had included uh, you know when they send you the computer if they created a, a Windows backup recovery image that would have saved a lot of time you just go to the recovery image and reinstall instead I had to download a Windows you know, 10 and install it do a fresh install from that after formatting the drive but since then the system has been up and running for a good well nearly six months now in terms of hardware everything is reliable except the Corsair radiator the what's it called HX150i I think the CPU water cooler radiator that has been a pain in the butt you know it just out of the blue it can get stuck or if you do a firmware update using the IQ software let me load IQ what, what it is I just I don't use the IQ software because it's very buggy and uh, you know this was a pain in the butt I even created a video to help other people because this comes up a lot the IQ software is garbage and a lot of people you know have issues with it 
There we go, and you can do a firmware update, which I would advise against doing. IQ software is garbage. Right. I've not uninstalled installed it. What I do, look, this one, I've got a H150i RGB Pro XT cooler in it, and basically I did a firmware update, and it just uh, got bricked. It, the fans were running at full speed. I even did a video solution to it after I figured it out how to unbrick your H150i. So I did a video for that, which many people thank me for, because this is a common problem with the H150 that they easily get bricked, even if you do nothing. Like subsequently, about say six weeks ago, it happened again, and I wasn't even doing anything different. H150i wasn't running, but suddenly fans 100%. So I had to go through the same rigmarole. Obviously, second time around, you're more experienced. I, I unbricked it within. 10 minutes I didn't have to do you know going to to the you know trying to find the solutions and creating a step-by-step -step process I already knew what to do boot to safe mode just go through the steps in the video it's straightforward but it's happened twice now you know H150i it's hardware is Hardware is buggy, not just software. Software is bad enough, but the hard it did it on its own, without me even running H150, the IQ software, or doing anything. It just bricked itself for some reason. So Corsair, you might want to do something about that. Let's run it again. So what do I rate it after six months use? Scan computers. Well, yeah, you do pay a premium price of between uh, roughly 5%, 10%. You do pay a premium, but that is so that it's built properly. And uh, from my experience, as was the previous scan computer I bought, they're built well. They're, they've done the job. So you get the thumbs up. You know, the problems I've had uh, have not been hardware uh, for the window for the first week. It's not repeated itself and Windows is quite stable. I think it's crashed maybe twice in six months. Whereas my previous system after six weeks of use, it would tend to crash twice a month. You know. Yeah, let's stop it. So you're getting pretty good scores. Now he's calling me.